I've been quite busy since I left the Keepers, and I guess the loot I accumulated over the winter earns me the title of an economist. However, all this precious stuff isn't worth anything unless I manage to turn it into cash. But this is not as simple as it sounds. Around town, all fences in the area are controlled by the city wardens, and frankly, I wanted to avoid paying them a visit unless they don't know about it. So here on the West Bank, I'll hardly be able to get my goods to the black market without anyone trying to kill me if I don't work for them. I place great hopes in the east bank of the river. A guy named Cuddy supposedly outsmarts all the fat cats and still manages to keep his head above water. No one likes this swindler if I can trust the local gossip, but this is exactly why I take to him straight away. Another advantage is that no one knows his home turf. Unfortunately, this will turn out to be a problem for me as well. Many clues point toward the area between Dayport, the infamous alleys near Shale Bridge, and the less seedy streets of Aldell. The whole region is a colorful melting pot of all sorts of citizens and non-entities, so I'm not surprised that this Cuddy character remains unnoticed. One single note leads to somewhere near the barren cesspool, as people tend to call the new sewer system near the city council building. On my way here, I spent too much time picking pockets, especially in Shale Bridge, so it is indeed a little too late for my visit. Nevertheless, I have to find this slippery fence now and convince him of a partnership with me.